Hello friends. Uh, today we saw a very big fall in the market. Uh, if I see in my daily time frame over here, and if I put my cursor over here, so Nifty fell approximately around 260 points, which is approximately around 2.20 percent in one day. Now people must be having a doubt now what now this fall was said due to india china border issue but in our strategy we had already defined the resistance of high of this candle which is 11433 let me mark for you this was our already the resistance 11433 now how did, how did I get that uh, that my students will be knowing it so let me mark over 11433 now what happened this chart is a monthly basis chart so for any market to continue its uptrend needed to close above this high of March month but what happened today itself it gave a closing a monthly closing below 11,433 and gave a closing of 11,387.50 which is still a green candle monthly basis but the resistance came into play exactly at the last day of the month. Now, uh, how did that happen? How did the resistance made sure that it did not close about that particular number of 11,433? Uh, I don't know. But I was waiting for this number to either close above or close below. Now, this was a strong resistance. Now I'm not saying that since it is closed below the resistance, that means the selling will start. All I'm trying to say that there could be a pause in the market for some time until unless the border China, India China border issue is not solved. Till that time, uh, one should consider the option of staying light and uh, keep booking profits as much as possible and not hold stocks for a long time now whether this 11,433 will have more importance uh, I will come to know only in the next month of 30th if the market closes above this 11,433 number now what should we do what next now let us just uh, analyze this weekly now we had a very steep uptrend in the market there was hardly any pullback now if you see we had just one pullback two three a small minor pullbacks over here over here but nifty was overall in a very bullish uh, trend now what will happen next now if I see due, we ha due to we have a, we a monthly uh, resistance which could not give a closing above that number, I would connect this two as my downward sloping and I would extend this. And another thing, I would connect this slope as uptrend market which was very steep so as of now I can understand that we had an weekly engulfing candle over here so the pressure was very enormous now if I go in my daily time frame see this exactly the same trend it followed and it stuck to the trend line but never gave a you know a amazing rally like this it was in a sideways movement now 
market always discounts it market knew that something is going to happen at 11433 level so if you see we had a gap up opening but on that gap up market wouldn't give a rally after that it used to move in a very smaller range after the gap ups and suddenly they just gave the entire selling in the market now what would i do in this situation i just remove all this trend lines so for me market i am still bullish in the market i will connect this trend lines this range uh, because i have a connecting point 1 connecting point 2 and i have a connecting point 3 and my daily time frame resistance would be the high of today now i just zoom in so that uh, you can see a proper picture now if you see this was the ranging market over here when the market gave a breakout it came retested this area and went back up now even after that market came today and retested this area and it just gave a very minor pullback but was not able to close below this level uh, this level can be given as the high of this particular uh, candle that was uh, 11366.25 so this my name 66.25 if on daily basis if the market closes below this level like this say it closes below here and in next within few days it again goes and retest this area and again gives us a selling only then i would consider it as a trend change to bearish or till that time i will just wait and watch and i would expect this rally to continue and halt somewhere around 11800 areas and then over there i would wait for some breakout or something like that so as of now i would start buying few good shares in this particular area until unless this trend line is not broken and closed below in daily time frame and retested again till that time i would assume that the trend is still continue i am not going to go short as of now because for going short i need a proper market uh proper closing to close my uh, trend line what can we see in one hour time frame let us check one hour time frame this is not given a proper closing so this is like that so one hour time frame you know you can see this was a, a support area where uh, this is also minor support area a small area so if on the intraday trading level if the market is closing in one hour below uh, 11289.80 and if it gives a close here and again retest this areas and gives me a selling pressure then i would short in my intraday levels which would give me an edge to enter early and if daily also uh, comes in line with the 1 hour then i would have an early entry and i would continue this trade uh till my daily targets of let me see where could be the daily target be here daily target would be this particular breakout candle low so the low of this candle is 11253.15 so i might get an entry of nearly around uh 11280 or 11350 depending upon which time frame do i get the entry and my target one would be around 11250 and
and the next target would be my swing low that is 3rd August 2020 low of uh, 10,882.25 so that's all as of now uh, this is my analysis of uh, nifty as on today when we had a very uh, panic selling in the market due to the our border issue but such kind of market only brings opportunity where stocks come to its good valuations when we, we have missed a lot of stocks which we were supposed to buy and did not buy so this is my view on nifty as on today thank you